All right, welcome back. Welcome back. I decided to break the video into two. So the other video is just the lecture video, and this video is purely exploring SaaS in the context of what we saw from the slide. And I'll do a little bit of revision and on, on concepts. First, we're going to start in the right order, <laughs> looking at quadratic effects before we look at um, interaction, interaction terms. Now, the first thing I did was I showed you a slide where I showed a scatter plot of price and living area. And this is just as a way to revise on the things we've done before. Now, the first step is to ensure that you've loaded the data. So you have the data loaded. Now, I have um, this code in my least square regression up here that if I run this, open loads the ice cream data. So I have it there. Now I can simply go on to my task utilities and I want to look at the credit scatter plot for for price, but against um what did I do? Living area? No, so that is not ice cream. I'm referring to the real real estate data set. That's fine. So that's this one. Um, read real estate data sets. So I have this uh, short script. Now, of course, I don't need all these lines. I only need, need this line to read the data sets. And so I run this. And now I have the data set and I wanted to look at the scatter plot of price against living area. And now I can go to task, assume I'm no programmer. And and all I just want to, is to, to do is point and click. And so here we have scatter plots. Double click on it. And let's add in our data set, which is real estate. And on our y axis, I wish the order was different, not x, y, but y, x. <laughs> so the y is price, and the x is living area. And then let's say I want to change the default color. I want it black and not the default blue. I can change the mark the I can set change the color. So right now it's set to blue. Now what if I want to set it to a different color so I can set to a different color, say black, and of course that automatically change updates in the code. Now we can run this. And we have the scatter plots. And of course, you all remember how to run a linear regression. So if we want to model price to living area, what we do is we go to linear regression. And our dependent variable is price. And our continuous predictor variable is living area. And once you do this, you would expect to have the code, but of course you need to add one or more effects. It's written there. So click on model and then click edit. And we add in a living area as one of the, the main effects. And this gives us the code and it wants to give us some of the model diagnostics plot, which we're going to look at in the next model. So, but for now, I don't want those diagnostic plots. So I click Options and unselect this. Check other plots. I do not want any plots. So it changes this plot is equals to none. Of course, I could just have gone in directly and just edited the code and say plot is equals to none. But assuming you you do not know what to do, this is a step to go. And if I've changed it, if I want to change my confidence level. I can also adjust that there, and that updates the alpha. Let's take it back to 95% confidence level. And once we are done, we can run our code. Of course, you can copy it to, to whichever scripts you are, you are writing. And that's the output as we, we are familiar with. OK, now what if we want to now add a quadratic um, effect? So we want to um, have 
living area times living area. So a quadrat won't add a quadratic effect to the model. So, so we have living area squared. How do we do that? How do we edit this? So what you do is this, is you go back to model and then click edit. And now we click living area, but this time around click on polynomial order and change it to from three to two. Three will be if you add in a cubic um, term, uh, you want to look at a cubic effect, like a spiral, a cubic effect. But let's say we are looking at a quadratic effect, so that will be of order two and click add. And that adds that other effect. So we have living area and living area times living area. And I'll click OK and check back your code. Now you can see that it has added these two effects. And if you noticed, the task um, ut and utility has found a different procedure that performs these modeling better, which is the GLM select. We can talk, of, talk about this later on, or you can read my dissertation where I actually talked about the benefits of GLM Select as well. But that's not really the focus of this um, class right now. But anyways, you have this code and you can simply just run this. And this is the output that we, we have in the slide that, you can, that we interpreted earlier. So that's pretty much how to to run a quadratic regression model, a, a quadratic linear regression model, or a linear regression model that has a quadratic effect. And if there are any questions, please, please um, send me a private chat, send me an email, and let's interact. All right, the next um, topic is interaction terms. How do we um, create this interaction terms? How do we create a model that has an interaction term? Remember, an interaction term is used to allow for the association between one predictor and the response to vary based on the levels of a categorical um, predictor. Now, in, in the slides, we, we looked at the effect of having an interact interaction effect and what we explored was the what data set did we explore where we have females that was the glass door data set i remember now yeah the glass door data set now i have a script which is in model five here that opens the Glassdoor data set. You can find the Glassdoor data set in the in the in the course shared shared library. I haven't put it up on GitHub, but if you want it there, I can do that as well. But if you go to under data in in the shared resources for the course, you would find the Glassdoor data. All right, so now let's let me read this data set so I can make use of it. Now, if I check my I look at libraries. I will now and walk. I have a data set called Glassdoor, which is what I want to use. But there's still more things I need to run in my code because I created um, an indicator variable for female as well. So I need to also run that as well. So I also created a new data set for total pay. Let me run this first. Um, and um, the next one is the indicator variable, which is right here. So basically, what I'm trying to do here is that um, we have this gendered variable that is has female and male, and 
or like the idea is that if gender is equal to male, then female is one, else female is zero. So that creates a new variable and we're storing it in a, in a, in a new data frame called glass.2. So now if we check our work directory, we have glass.2. All right, so having done this, well, how do we cre create this interaction uh, effect? How do we create a multiple regression that includes an interaction, an interaction term? So to do that again, let's go to task and we go on to linear regression. And this time around, we change this to glass.2. And then uh, our dependent variable that we use is bonus. So we're trying to create a multiple regression model to predict bonus of employees based on age and indicator variable for female and the interaction between the two. So we have bonus as the dependent variable and our continuous variable here is age and I'll press control and select uh, female and then click OK. And again, we have to go to model to add those main effects and also the interaction effects. So edit, select age and female and add it. And so these are the main effects. Now to add the interaction effect, we are going to uh, click on cross. And now we have age asterisk female. So this is the interaction effect added. And now we click OK. And this generates the code. We don't need to think about this. Of course, we can run a simple, a simple um, model using um, just the probe GLM. But the, uh, the tasking utilities believe that the GLM select is a powerful procedure and gives us generates the codes for us, which you can simply use. Now, again, I do not want any plots. We will talk about, we'll look at the plots next time. So I will remove all the plots so that my output is minimum, I have a minimum output. Now I can run this. And minimize this and this is the table that we explored in, in, in the previous video. All right, so that's how to add interaction terms in your regression model. Then there was one other visual I showed you where I created a scatter plot of bonus versus female and age and, and the interaction. So how did I go about it? So I had bonus in the in the y axis and I had age in the x axis. So again we go to and then I am uh, I am grouping by by gender. So if you if we go to scatter plot we have Glassdoor, so that's what we want. Now, here we want bonus. No, oh, let me check again. Like I said, I wish the order was changed. Y axis, I want bonus. <laughs> and then the X axis, uh, age. But this time around, we're going to use group by what? Group by gender, or you can say group by female. Now that that would give us the same interpretation, but this time around you're going to see it in terms of one and zero, but this will see it in terms of female and male. So let's use gender. And so you can see it added um, the group by um, option. And now we can run this. And there we have it. 
So we have bonus and age, the blue is male and the red, I mean the blue is female and the red is male. Well, you know, and you can also flip the color since I, 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 I would prefer to be blue. <laughs> and and I'll give I'll, I'll give red to my wife. <laughs> but that's um, basically it. That's how to um, to run a, a linear regression model having a quadratic effect and also having an interaction interaction term. And in the previous video, we did explain how to interpret the outputs of these models. And so with that, I wish you all a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.